seeing how well cover crop and no-till practices was working on our row crop side, we were taking clay knobs and we've turned them into high, highly productive soils that are doing 50 to 55 bushel soybeans when we were averaging 25 to 30 beforehand. And right. so these are these are six-year-old cover crop, no-till practices, background and cattle all winter on them. So we've started to believe and see that already. And now showing them what roots so deep is showing on the data side of things as far as um you know, what we can do on the cattle side, it's just reaffirming and reinstilling that belief of, Hey, this is going to work. We're not doing this, you know, candidly for farmers, you can't just say, Hey, you guys need to do this because it's good for the environment on the economic side. It makes sense too. So it's like, it's a win, win. Why would we not completely go all in on it? You yeah. get some of these farmers. I noticed there at the end of the series, after you convey the data, I can't remember the name of the guy, but they're sitting there like, are you going to change? And they're like, well, maybe. And it's like, look at the data that's right in front of you. Why would you not? 